ear feels like a 10 day old thick cut of maple bacon. Um, that's just how it feels to me in my mind. That's the first thing that came. My face is, my head is already big and it looks like I've been in a boxing match. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, uh, Traveling Gun. My name is Thomas. Uh, today is a four day trip. Pretty simple trip, pretty easy trip. I start off with a delay already. I got a notification on my way uh, right into the parking lot. I was supposed to, my flight's supposed to leave out at 7.22 this morning. Now it's slated for 8.05. Don't know why, because it's the first flight of the day. Unless a crew member called in or something like that and they have to give a, a proper call out for a um, another crew member to come take the place or whatever. So I don't know, but it's supposed to be three legs. I do a white plains turn and then I go to Bloomington, Illinois today. So that's pretty much it. Um, but other than that, that's all I have for you guys right now. Um, I'm trying to get rid of my Bahamas turn at the end of this trip. My uh, little cousin died uh, from his battle with leukemia. Um, he was nine years old, so I'm trying to get off, um, get the Bahamas turn taken off. That way I can actually make his uh, home going service Saturday when I come back from this trip. I have somebody that is possibly interested, so I'm going to see if I can get rid of it. And that way I can make the home going service this uh, Saturday. But other than that, I just saw the shuttle roll around. I'll see you guys once I get to Bloomington to update you to see what actually happened and why my flight is delayed this morning. Hello everybody, I've made it here to Bloomington. And today's flights were very, very uneventful, simple, easy flights. Um, we were delayed this morning because our captain called in. So I told you it was somebody, because somebody called in and our captain called in and we had to wait for another captain to come in from another flight um, this morning. So and that's why our flight was delayed over an hour. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, my last video, when I said I wasn't working with the person that I had on my last trip, I didn't go into details about every little thing that happened, just for some effect of, I didn't want to seem like I was complaining or just also, um, I don't want to say privacy, but just, that's just not my thing. It's just, just, no, I'm not working with her again. Schedules came out, came out for November. I got Thanksgiving off. Um, still can't get every single trip not to end after three o'clock and I've been here for six years. Um, there are a few trips that I'm gonna either try to swap out because I have a three day that's only worth 12 hours. That's not even worth me coming to work. So I'm gonna see if I can swap. Somebody drops like a four day in open time tonight and I'm gonna try to swap out of that and maybe try to drop the trip at the end of the month, which is another three day and see if I can flex, you know, move around something like that. But I'm not working on Thanksgiving. So I'm off for Thanksgiving and the day after. But um, other than that, get back into my routine of working out and I'll see you guys tomorrow, bright and early for 4.45 uh, van time. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two of four. Um, slept really well last night. Got some trips swapped around. I'm still trying to do some finagling to, you know, uh, you know, just do some finagling or whatever. Still have my, I only get 11 days off for next month, but you know, it is what it is. But two legs, Bloomington to Atlanta, Atlanta to Allentown, but I have a two hour sit in between. So uh, I'm gonna go to the crew room and, and um, sit down there for a minute. But other than that, I'll see you guys once I get to Allentown this afternoon. Everybody, I made it here to Allentown. Today's two flights were very uneventful. Um, I forgot to mention that it is cold weather here. 
especially in Atlanta. It was uh, when I first started this trip, the, the mo that morning when I got up, it was 39 degrees, so I had to turn on my heat. Um, it's been, especially in the mornings, it's been in the low 40s, but then it warms up to the 60s. But then this weekend, we're going to go back up to the mid 70s. But um, it's cold here in um, Allentown. I think Allentown is 40 something degrees as well. I remember staying here in Allentown, but I don't remember staying in a room like this with a full kitchen. Um, but it's been a minute since I've stayed here. Other than that, I need I have a lot of LMS to finish by the end of November. So I'm going to work on that and um, get get to bed early for another 445 uh, van time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good for morning, day. everybody. Today is uh, day three or four. I think. Yeah. Day three or four. Uh, it's a four leg day. I go to um, from Allentown to Atlanta, Atlanta to Columbia. South Carolina back to Atlanta, then to Dothan. Should be done around two o'clock central time today. Um, I, I have a lot of bite marks on me and I'm not for sure if it happened when I walked outside yesterday because I heard some music playing around here. So I went to go find it and come find out it was a private event so I couldn't go to it. And I don't know if something bit me then. I know it didn't happen last, like while I was asleep. It, I felt it prior to me even going to sleep and it's on my, some bit my ear, the side of my face. Um, I have a bite mark on my, like right up under my chest and on my back shoulder blade. And I don't know where it came from. All I know is that the side of my face right here is hot. It's warm right now. And um, I don't know if you can see it, but like my ear is a little bit bigger than the other ear because the it bit me right here on the lobe. Um, hopefully it gets better, but if not, uh, when I get home, I'm going to go see, go, might go to urgent care or something like that if it doesn't go down. Because I was expecting it to go down last night while I slept. Like if it was a mosquito bite. Mosquito bites usually don't last that long on me. So it was something else that probably bit me. So we're going to find out and see what happens for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys once I get to Dothan. I'm here at Dothan. Today's flights were very, very uneventful. My face is swollen, you know, and that's why I'm on this side because this is my whole right side is swollen. I don't know what bit me. Um, it bit me in multiple places, two spots on my face, my ear, and a spot in the back of my head. My ear feels like a 10 day old thick cut of maple bacon. Um, that's just how it feels to me in my mind. That's the first thing that came. My face is, my head is already big and it looks like I've been in a boxing match. So I'm going to show y'all and you can see the difference. So as you can see, this whole right side is just swollen. My And then even like I can feel how swollen it is right here. Like I can feel it up under my uh, my ear right here on my chin and my ear is swollen. Um, I've been putting ice on my uh, head, you know, through the flights, the during the sits and things like that, just to try to see if the swelling goes down. Um, tomorrow is just one leg and I'm done. And I go home, I got rid of the Bahamas turn because of my, like I said, my cousin's funeral. And I'm gonna give it till Monday and see if it goes down. If not, then I'll probably hit urgent care. Depending, maybe Sunday, but it just depends on how it, everything turns out. So I'm gonna give it till then. But other than that, I'm not working out today. Um, I'm just gonna try to put as much ice as possible in it because yeah, this is really crazy. I don't know what bit me. Like I look like quite like this side looks like Quagmire's face. And I don't I really don't know what bit me. And it happened, it wasn't in the bed. It happened prior to me even laying in the bed or even getting in the bed at all. I was sitting at the table watching uh Netflix on my laptop. And um and I always check the bed for bed bugs and I didn't see anything, so I don't think it was bed bugs. Um I don't know what it could have been, but it got me good. But I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for go home day. Everybody, I've made it home. Um, 
Today one flight was very uneventful. We was delayed going into Atlanta because of air traffic control to the, to, you know, the flow of traffic. But my captain said it was no reason for it because it wasn't really that much traffic going into Atlanta. But um, yeah, so we ended up taking a delay because of that. But my face went down a little bit, not a whole lot. I did get some Benadryl yesterday from uh, um, Target that's uh, by, that was near our hotel. Um, it helped a little bit, but it didn't go down a lot. So I'm off for the next two days. So hopefully by the time I start my job, uh, start back my uh, trip on Tuesday, I feel uh, my face will go down a little bit more because it's still swollen, I can tell. And, and you know, kind of like my eye right here is a little bit swollen as well. Um, don't know what bit me. Can't, don't have the slightest clue what could have bit me. Um, I've just never been bit in my face before, especially by a mosquito. Like, I've been bitten in the head, my arms, my feet, whatever, by mosquitoes, but never in the face. So, I don't know what it was, but it is what it is. Hopefully, I just get better. I'm going to go in and change and go to my cousin's homegoing service. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. It's always hugging the ones that you love to the ones that you love, that you love them. I'm out. Hey, babe, on the next plane, I don't